Well, the thing you do include not just comedy, you also have a remarkable turn for musical talent. And Auntie Mel the Musical, we saw it come out, uh, what was it, the, the year before last? We yes, saw our first look yes, at it. Yes. And I've always known you, I've seen you play the piano a bit in the past, but just this level of success, it swept across South Africa, you won awards, it was extraordinary. It was quite extraordinary, and um, you know, you'd be amazed what you do when you put on knee eyes and high heels. Um, it, it, it's a character that, that I've that I've done for years on Timor um, as part of my stand-up shows. But I've always loved. Um, I've always loved. <laughs> yeah, I wrote that. <laughs> I've always loved musicals. 14 actors had a live band, um, 22 original songs, um, a great storyline, on oh my word. And, um, and, and it's something that I'm really, really, really proud of because um, it was so successful that it blew our minds. We didn't expect it to, to do that well. Um, and, and we were um, nominated for four Fleur de Cup Theatre Awards and the show came back for three sellout seasons at ran year in Joburg as well. So um, it was beyond our expectation, way beyond our expectation. It's the start of a whole new chapter for me um, because I think the great thing about being able to tell a funny story, what that has taught me, is you don't only have to do it in stand-up, which I love, behind the microphone, that'll always be my first love, but there are many forms of funny. Um, and you can do it in a classy way, you can do it in a universal way. Um, so this has been a wonderful experience for me. So